Pepsi-Cola, P-E-P-S-I. That's your smartest cola buy. Pepsi-Cola presents Counterspy. Washington calling David Harding, Counterspy. Washington calling David Harding, Counterspy. Harding, Counterspy, calling Washington. United States Counterspies, especially appointed to investigate and combat the enemies of our country, both at home and abroad. Tonight, the case of the bouncing bank robber. Another Counterspy report to the American people. Brought to you each Tuesday and Thursday by Pepsi-Cola. Pepsi-Cola hits a spot. Two full glasses, that's a lot. That's right, you heard what they said. Two full glasses of sparkling Pepsi from one big 12-ounce bottle. You're getting an extra glass full. And what a delicious glass full. The most refreshing, delightful cola that ever tickled your taste. You can't top Pepsi's tangy flavor. And that big, big bottle saves you money, goes twice as far. Pepsi is America's big, big favorite and America's biggest cola value. So why take less when Pepsi is best? Whenever you reach for refreshment, remember... Why take less when Pepsi is best? And now, to Counter Spy. Sometimes, counter-spy cases extend over a period of years. Tonight's case, however, extended over a period of hours. The most exciting six hours your counter-spies ever experienced. River City. Ten minutes to three in the afternoon. In a building on the north side, David Harding, chief of the counter-spies, was completing a routine field office investigation. In another building on the outskirts of the city... The Merchants Federal Bank and Loan Association was preparing to close. A few customers were at the teller's window. Then, two men entered quietly from the street, stopped, and looked around. You stay back, Gus, and cover those goons behind the railed-in space. I'll take the cashier. Okay, boys. Yes, it's open. If it's an overdraft, it makes no difference about it. All right. Yes, can I help you, sir? Yeah, sure, cashier. Take this briefcase. Well, why, I... This is a stick-up. Start shoving the money into that case fast and quiet, and nobody will get hurt. Yes, yes, sure. Come on, faster. Come on. Bring the burglar alarm, will you? Okay, hero, take this. Oh, oh. All right, everybody, back against the wall. No tricks. Wait. The doors, metal doors sliding shut. Nobody move. I said, lady, nobody move. Yes, Yes, cut that out. You can't knock these doors down. The cops will be here. We gotta get out. How do we do it, please? I bet our car's rammed already. That plate glass window will jump through. Follow me. Well, get caught. I can't go through the window. Okay, stay here, but you won't be talking to no cops. Maryland license plate. Last three numerals, zero, 
information directly to David Harding, Counter Spy Field Office, River City. This pair armed and dangerous. Time, 3.05 p.m. Harding still inside the bank? No, sir. He just left for the hospital with the wounded holdup man. The chief wants you to question the bank manager. He's inside. Right. You remain here with the car for any radio reports. Mr. Peters, he, he just went berserk. Two people wounded, two dead. Yes, I, I know, Mr. Fulton. But what about the killer's appearance? Oh, uh, clean cut, very big, uh, athletically built, blonde hair. No question about the athletic part. No. You say he leaped straight through this window without any hesitation. Yes. Wonder he didn't cut himself to pieces. Well, uh, he was wearing a very heavy leather jacket, from what I could see. Mm -hmm. Uh, He ran to about here. His partner said something. Then he turned and shot him. And then continued on straight through the window. I see. Did you notice how he went through the window? Definitely. As he leaped... He covered his head with his arms, actually broke the glass with them. Mm -hmm. And he landed outside just like a tumbler in the circus. How do you mean? Well, uh, you know the trick they have just before they land. They double up, bring their chins down sharply, and actually land on their shoulders and back. You're very observant, Mr. Fulton. Well, uh, it happens I took my daughter to the circus two nights ago. I I couldn't help noticing. Say, Peters. Excuse me, Mr. Fulton. Yes, Edwards. A report just came in on the hold-up car. Yes? It was found abandoned in the Rosemount section, 18th Street and Avenue J at 4.10 p.m. The beat patrolman's guarding it now. Good. We'll get out there as soon as we can. Is there any chance, Doctor? Not much, Mr. Harding. That's why we're using the respirator. I wonder this gunman wasn't dead on arrival with these bullet wounds in him. Well, is there a chance he'll regain consciousness, even for a moment or so? Well, that's what we're trying to do right now. He's going fast. Well, try, doctor, try. Right. Nurse, some of the hypodermic. Adrenaline? Yes. Alcohol on his chest, nurse. Thank you. There. It'll be a few seconds. Yeah, he's responding. You'd better get over here if you want to talk to him, Mr. Harding. Eyelids moving. Here, I'll remove the respirator. All right, start talking, Mr. Harding. Can you hear me? Listen. Can you hear me? You know who shot you, don't you? But his name. You don't want him to get away. His name. Grace. Hondo. Where does he live? Hide out. Yes? Front Street. 24. Go on. It's no use, Mr. Harding. That's it. Brace Hondo. 24-something on Front Street. Well, thank you, Doctor. I hope it's enough. No, 
No, Brace, I won't do it. You put me on a spot. Don't be crazy, Peg. They got descriptions of me over half the town by now. I heard it on the six o'clock news. Why'd you have to start blasting away? What do you want me to do? Sit there and wait for the cops? What about my description? You think they haven't got that? Ah, uh, who can describe it, Dane? Besides, you were in the car all the time. Uh, it's getting dark now. Look, Peg, there's no two ways about it. We've got to steal a car and lamb out of here. But the whole town's hot. We'll be safer holding up in here. We'll take that chance. All my life, I've been taking that extra chance nobody else takes. It's always paid off. Besides, babe, they got a murder rap on both of us. Me? Not me. Don't kid yourself. You've been in from the start. I fry, you fry. And that's an odds-on bet if we stay here. Okay, Blake. Smart girl. Where do I get the car? The Farley and Megan Circus is playing a stand just across the river right next to the arcade amusement park. So? There's a big lot. Free parking, no attendance. Take the ferry right next to this block across. Go to the lot. There's always some jerk leaves his key in a car. Watch for it, heist it fast, and then get back here. Hello, Dave. Hospital oh. receptionist told me you'd be in this waiting room. Peters, you're just in time. We got a line on the killer's car. It was abandoned. Uh, we can hold that, Peters. The other crook talked before he died. Oh? The one who escaped is Brace Hondo with a hideout on the 2400 block on Front Street, very close to the river, right next to the Arcade Ferry House. 2400 block. Now, except for one garage, the rest of the block on both sides is old brownstone houses and warehouses. Mm -hmm. Set up a raiding squad? Yes. Now, we won't have enough of our own men, so we'll have the local police lend us a detail. And have them bring along a loudspeaker and spotlights. It'll be dark shortly. I want at least 50 men so we can cover all the exits from that block. All men assigned to their stations, Peter? Yes, Dave. Moving into position now. They'll start searching every building on the block at exactly 7.45. Oh, ten minutes from now. You told them to play it careful. Stay out of sight. Right. And when we close... Hey, hold it. Huh? A girl. Going into that brownstone house. Number 2410. There was a girl about that age driving the getaway car. One of the bank witnesses said. Yes, I know. When it's time to start moving in, you and I'll take that building personally. I got it, Brace. The packet 48, loaded with gas. Well, it's about time. It's almost quarter of eight. Let's go. No, no, I need a drink first. I got the jitters. There's a bottle, belt it. I'll okay. make sure the coast is clear. Hey, you dumb little... What's the matter? Come here. Look down there in the shadows. On the corner, a cop. And there, another one. Oh, it wasn't me, Brace. I drove right off the ferry and turned the corner. Nobody tells me, I swear it. And down there, across the street in that alleyway, more. What do we do, Brace? But blast our way out. We've got an arsenal in this hideout. No, Brace, I don't want to. What did I tell you about always taking that extra chance? But I'm scared. All right, so cry a few tears, but take this automatic. You can handle it. I'll handle the Tommy gun. Brace, don't. Get up. Here goes. Okay, coppers, here's something for you. Got one. They got an army out there. Go get them some more. Start shooting, babe. Fire at their flashes. Okay. Keep it up, babe. Oh, babe. Babe, I'm hit. Oh, my arm. It's getting too hot, babe. We'll take the roof. We'll have a better chance in the open. Oh, no, no, babe. I couldn't make it. My heart pleads for you, babe, but I'm leaving you behind. One more burst, you can hold the fort alone. So long, kid. 
Give my regards to the cops. I ain't in the mood to deliver them personally. the roof. That trap came from outside. Spotlights number one, two, and three on the roof. Quick! One of our men hit. <laughs> Dave, look. Hondo's going to try to jump to the ferry building. Keep those spotlights on the roof. Spotlight number four. Stay with Hondo. Dave, he made it. On top of the ferry slip. The spotlights, quick. All spotlights. Shift to the roof of the ferry slip. Wow, that must have been a 15-foot leap. He's going to try to make the ferry. It's leaving the slip. Keep that number four spotlight on Hondo. Hold your firemen. There are passengers on that boat. Hondo made it. He's on the ferry boat. Attention, ferry captain. Reverse your engines and return to slip at once. Attention, ferry captain. Reverse your engines and Engine room. Engine room. New orders from the wheelhouse. Reverse your engines. We're going back to the slip. You go back, Popeye, and you're a dead sea dog. Who are you? The guy with a gun. Now listen, Popeye, signal your engine room for full speed ahead and keep going. We're late. Full speed ahead. The ferry captain's going ahead, Chief. Hondo must have reached the wheelhouse, Peters. Have the police on the other side of the river meet the ferry. Right. And radio the river patrol for three fast boats immediately. We're going after him. Okay, Dave. We're all aboard. And cast off. The ferry hasn't reached the other side yet. Cast off! Ferry whistles. They're signaling us. Yes. Have them cut our motor. Cut the motor, pilot. Quick. Dave, that's Morse code. Hold it. The captain says the gunman dove off the ferry. Radio the other boats to fan out. Throw their spotlights on the river and on both banks. We'll take the center of the fan. Okay, full speed. counter spy in a moment. But first, Pepsi Cola hits a spot. Two full glasses, that's a lot. Lots more value, lot more zest. I take less when Pepsi's best. More and more among fellows and girls, among mothers and dads, you hear that sane and sensible question, why take less when Pepsi's best? No budget, no allowance ever had a better friend than tangy, sparkling Pepsi Cola. Because one big 12-ounce Pepsi bottle gives you two delicious drinks. That's twice as much tangy taste. Twice as much delicious Pepsi to go just twice as far. That's why more and more families say, why take less when Pepsi's best? Yes, families like yours and mine. Families all over America. They're all saying, why take less when Pepsi's best? Pepsi Cola so delicious and each bottle makes two drinks. It is certainly the cola for the purchaser who thinks every 
everybody's drinking Pepsi, just compare it with the rest. So much more and so much finer. Why take less when Pepsi's best? Today, tomorrow, always. Get America's biggest cola value. Take home a carton of six big, big Pepsi bottles. Insist on Pepsi at the store. And say Pepsi at the fountain. Say Pepsi at the stand. Say Pepsi. Whenever you reach for refreshment, remember... Why take less when Pepsi's best? And now, back to Counter Spy. Five breathless hours have elapsed since Killer Brace Hondo has held up the Merchants Federal Bank and Loan Association. David Harding and his assistant Harry Peters are slowly closing in on the fugitive murderer. Pretty misty out here on the river, Peters. See anything? Not so far, Dave. Not even the other patrol boats. In spite of our search... Patrol lines. boat three to Mr. Harding. Wait. Patrol boat three to Mr. Harding. Go ahead, patrol boat three. We picked up the spot where Hondo may have gone ashore. Just above the amusement park and circus. Head for it, patrol boat three. We'll join you there. Hondo came ashore, all right, Peters. Yeah, the trail heads to the circus tent. Edwards. Yes, Mr. Harding. Call in the other boats. I'll contact the police at the ferry slip. Have them cover all exits from the circus lot and the amusement park. Right, sir. Also have some men in plain clothes circulate through the crowd. Keep a sharp eye out. Peters and I'll contact the circus management and get their cooperation. This is terrible, Mr. Harding. The evening crowd's beginning to collect. That's why we haven't a minute to lose, Mr. Purdy. Now, give me a picture of the way you're set up here. Yeah, well, the circus and the amusement park are completely on Cove's Point. Yes, I know. We've got every exit covered. But what about your specific layout? Well, the amusement park is out at the end of the point. The main entrance to the circus arena there leads to the performer's tent. Go on. And that small entrance over there leads across an open space to the menagerie tent. Dave, Edwards yes. has the men all placed. We've got about 20 more circulating through the crowd. Good. Well, now... Hey, wait a minute. What is it? There in the arena. See that bedraggled figure? Oh, it's just a clown that... No, it's not. He's sopping wet. That's our man. He's heading for the exit to the menagerie tent. Come on, Peter. Okay, Mr. Harding, I've got men placed all around the menagerie tent. Good, Edward. All right, Peter. The PA microphone, please. Uh, Mr. Harding, will there be any shooting? That's up to Hondo, Mr. Purdy. We'll do our best to avoid it. I hope you can. Hey, listen to those animals. They're upset and scared. All right, Dave. Here's the microphone. Hondo, we know you're in that tent. We've got it surrounded. Now play it smart and give yourself up. Hold your fire, man. All right, Hondo. The animals, they'll get excited. And... Dave, look. Our lions are loose. He's shooting the locks off the animal cages. Edwards, warn all our men. Bertie, get your animal men here, quick. What about Hondo? Forget him from now. We've got the pitch in before that circus crowd finds out the animals are loose. They'll start a panic. going. Roller coaster's under repair. Quit stalling, sister. Get out of that ticket booth. You're going for a ride with me. But the coast is under repair, I tell you. Does she run it all? Yes. Oh, no, mister. A gun. Come on, girlie. Start moving fast. I hope they get all the animals, Mr. Harding. We'll do our best, pretty. Uh, all the rotten tricks. We've still got Hondo's escape covered. He can't get off this point. What's that noise, Mr. Purdy? That's the roller coaster. That's funny. It's not supposed to start now. Hondo. The roller coaster. Well, he's crazy. Where can he go? We'll find out. Come on. Tough spot, Dave. 
Hard to see the upper part of the coaster. Mr. Purdy, how's this thing built? Uh, it's a pretty long ride all around. The first long incline starts right here. It goes up to a height of about 70 feet right at the edge of the water. Wait a huh? minute. I can make out something now, Dave. A man in a leather jacket. It's Hondo, all right, in the car. Holy smoke, there's a girl with him. Girl? Good heavens, the ticket girl from the booth here. I don't get Hondo's scheme. The roller coaster only goes around and ends up right here again. Well, he could take a high dive from the top of this first incline into that water. Maybe get away from us after all in the dark. Purdy, how do you stop the coaster? Oh, yes, yes, right here, this big lever. <laughs> it stopped. Dave Hondo's getting up. Starting to climb forward out of the car. Fire a warning shot, Peters. Come down, Hondo. He's firing back. Holy smoke. Peters, your gun. Yeah, but fast, Dave. He's almost out of the car. Look out for the girl. You got him, Dave. Come on. We'll climb up that incline. Get him and the girl. What's that? So the car's slipping back. Uh-oh, something's broken. The sawtooth wheels in the middle of the track, they act as a brake. The car's coming right down here and fast. There'll be a crash. Stand back and pray for that girl. Come on. Take a look at the girl, Peter. How is she? She just fainted. No cuts or anything. What luck. How about Hondo? Here he is in the wreckage. Your shot did it, Dave. He was wilder than a wild animal, Peter. Well, this is one case we can close without a trial. I can't say I'm sorry. It took us six hours. When your friends drop in, be generous, but be thrifty, too. Serve plenty of delicious Pepsi-Cola. Pepsi's big 12-ounce bottle gives you not just one sparkling glass full, but two. Get a carton of six and serve 12 delicious drinks. Yes, Pepsi is America's biggest cola value. You get twice the tangy taste, twice the refreshment, twice the Pepsi. So why take less when Pepsi is best? Whenever you reach for refreshment, remember... Pepsi-Cola, hits the spot, two full glasses, that's a lot. Lots more value, lots more zest. Why take less when Pepsi's best? Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday, same time, same station, to Counter Spy. Listen on Thursday for the exciting Counter Spy case of the murdering messenger. The fast-talking man who posed as himself to impersonate someone else. The strange corpse that was discovered a quarter mile deep in the earth and the riverboat which carried a cargo of intrigue that exploded in the Crescent City. Be sure to tune in on Thursday for Case of the Murdering Messenger on Counter Spy. Tonight's Counter Spy program originated in New York and featured Don McLaughlin and Mandel Kramer with music by Jesse Crawford. Counter Spy is a Phillips H. Lord production for Pepsi Cola. Enjoy some Pepsi, ice cold tonight. Thank you.